I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Thank you so much for joining uh, Adventist Angels Watching our Radio. In such a moment like this, we give God the praise and the glory for this hour which we have come. So let's uplift our Maker and our King uh, for his wonderful care and the guidance on this hour. So friends, we appreciate you for joining your, uh, taking your time to be with Adventist Angels watching on the radio. Today we are going to cover a special message uh, encompassing this time, whereby we are going to see uh, what men of the world are doing, where the world is moving to in a very high speed in terms of technology. Uh, there is a movement which is actually uh, ongoing here and moving very fast and uh, that's what we in a more sure way we shall be considering so I welcome you even as we shall be covering uh, such a special message like this that you take your time to be with us even as we try to cover these messages the message today is that uh, uh, people are fighting Im uh, immortality. People are fighting not to die. People are fighting to remain young. People are fighting over the issue which the Lord has already said. Who is behind all this? Is it if they themselves up to be like God? They want to be like God. They are being deceived. What kind of spirit is this? It is the spirit uh, of uh, the world which is not heavenly, it's a spirit of the world which is in opposition to the brain, thus says the Lord. So thank you so much for your time, even as we are going to consider this special message, I request you that you take your time as we have a Bible study and also to consider what is in the mind of the people. Let's humble ourselves as we pray. Father in heaven, the king of the universe, thank you for thy guidance and thank you for thy great love. In such an hour like this, we are going to consider thy word. I pray, Lord, for thy guidance. I pray for thy Holy Spirit. Guide me and bless me. And bless our dear listeners all over the world. Reach unto us in a special way. Deliver your people. Heal us, Lord, and give us strength in such a time like this. Oh, Lord, remember your people. Remember us, Lord. Give us the rain. Wash us and make us clean, Lord. Draw your people from all ends of the earth. Unite us, Lord. For those who are you as Lord, draw us closer to you, as men as you shall call. Be with us in this hour, to the end, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today we want to consider science immortality, and another issue this, uh, we are going to cover is that they are trying to cheat death. They are trying to stop aging. It is over the issue of creation versus evolution. They are playing God. Let's consider uh, this message in a very broad way to understand what really is seen in the mind of the people. You know, before we cover anything, is that over the ages, over the ages, the artists, history people have been trying to 
uh, people have been trying on ways in which they can uh, remain young, ways which they can never die, and uh, how can they gain immortality in real sense? It will be gained if we live faithful, obedient to the will of God. At the latter end, we are going to harvest good fruits. When the Lord is coming, He shall change us, just as uh, like He did in the beginning, He's going actually to change our bodies to we shall gain immortality. All friends, so let's be faithful, let's reflect the will of our Maker. So thank you so much uh, for being with us. You can find us on Tata details which you have uh, given there on. So let's go hand in hand and consider uh, some messages. How is sit? What is uh, and uh, what is sit? Let's consider here a special message uh, from the very beginning. Let's see what happened in the time past. In Genesis chapter one, 6 verse 1, the Bible says, And it came to pass, when men began to might pray on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. So there is something here that men began to multiply on the face of the earth. That is population in Ecclesiastes. And daughters were born unto them. And I remember this is a church. It's a people who increased in the land. There were two groups of people. Verses 2. And the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. And they took them wives of all which they chose. The sons of God here. Remember, Adam was known as a son of God. Even like Jesus Christ was known as a son of God. He was representing and taking over the position of Adam where he did fall. So that he can win for us. Who are these sons of God? These are the sons of Adam. The sons who were faithful were known as the sons of God. The sons of God. They were like angels. Also remember that we are equated like angels. We are stars shining. We are stars in the world. We are the light of the world. We are stars. We are messengers. We are angels. So the three angels' messages are a people having the message of God in these last days. Like who can be called as the sons of God, the angels of God, the messengers of God. Whom shall I send and who will go for us? These are the messengers uh, in these last days. So these sons of God who are set aside, who represent God in a wicked world, these kind of people here, are being spoken to. In verse 3, the Bible says, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. Why is God saying that his spirit is withdrawing his spirit from the world now, that he cannot strive with man? Because the sons of God, the faithful people of God now, have united with the world. Yet his day shall be an hundred and twenty years. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he, for he also is flesh. Yet his day shall be 120 years. So it became 120 years. When it continued to sin, it was reduced to 80 years. Let's see. Um, verses 4, the Bible says, There were giants in the earth in those days. Remember, people were very great in those days because they were eating solidly on diet, which was vegetables or green things uh, rather than meat. And also that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they appeared children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old. So when these two groups, churches, united, the peace people become very mighty, big people and mighty people. And remember, they were sinful. They had disobeyed God. And God saw violence was in the land. If you continue reading downwards, you realize there was violence in the land because there was no truth. There was no mercy in the land. People had forsaken the path of the Lord. There was still no there was no that harmony. So in uh, Genesis chapter 6 verse 5, And God saw that the wickedness of man wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. These people, in their minds, they had evil thoughts, evil minds. So the Lord saw it was not good to let them continue living. If he could allow them living, it could be unjust. Verse 6, the Bible says, And it repented the Lord. That he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Why? Because they were doing things which even his Holy Spirit could not uh, sanction. It would not allow. The Holy Spirit could not allow. His spirit was steered, and they repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. They repelled. They wanted to do things which was only God can do. They wanted to reach to be like God. 
this is the character of the devil which was developing. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created. Remember, it is the Lord who has created them from the face of the earth. He wanted to mold and, and do away with them. So both man and the beast and the creeping thing and the falls of the air, for it repented me that I have made uh, I have made them. Verses 8, the Bible says, But no found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Only really no found grace in the eyes of the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30, there is something, my dear brother, you find here, is that, and I said, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. So what these people did when the Spirit of the Lord was grieved is that uh, these people, they repelled against God. He was grieved in his heart because they never did what he had told them to do. He, they never obeyed him. When even he said they were to be uh, to obey him, to follow the dictates which he has taught them, they were against him. And uh, Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 12, And you have done worse than your fathers, for behold, you walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart. So if you walk according to the imagination of your heart, you don't follow the word of the Lord. You follow your heart. You follow your mind. These people say in this time that they are to follow their own inclinations, not the word of God. But the Bible tells us man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, that they may not hearken unto me. They don't want to follow the word of the Lord. They don't want scripture. They want to live on their own ways. In Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 3, the Bible says, And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices. They have no hope of the second coming. These people will walk after their own devices. They have no hope of the Lord's promises. And we will everyone do the imagination of his evil art. It means that they are now following their own path, their own ways, which they can find their own joy. And you can see how evil it is and how disastrous it is before them. Romans chapter 1 verse 21, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. They have known the creator of the universe. They have known from the things of nature there is a creator. There is one who has made. They are not thankful for what God has provided for them. These people, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. But they wanted to be against God. They wanted to be above God. But it became vain. They became vain in their imagination. The Bible tells me elsewhere, in, Matthew, in the book of Matthew and the book of Mark, in vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrines and the commandments of God. This is where we live when people are worshiping on Sunday instead of this Bible Sabbath. So in vain, in their vain imaginations, their foolish heart was darkened. In every way there is a rebellion in the land. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5, casting down imaginations. We are being called now, we cast down imaginations, evil imaginations and a foolish thinking. Verse, uh, and continue says, and every eye thing that exerted itself, those things which are exerting themselves above God, we should cast them down these evil imaginations against the knowledge of God, against the word of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obediency of Christ. We should follow Jesus Christ, not man, not our own ways. We should follow that the Lord has gone to prepare a place for us and is coming to take us home. They look upon the land, people are crying for wine, people are crying for the oil, and we should be crying for the Spirit, as the Lord has told us. When these things are happening, we should ask for what? For the rather rain. There is crying for wine in the streets. What is this wine? It's the Holy Spirit, friend, the new wine. All rejoice is darkened. The merit of the land is gone. There is no more joy. People need the Holy Spirit to discern about truth. There is a famine in the land. Kenya's Indian Ocean oil dream fades as a test drill gives negative results. OPEC Plus refuses to eat consumers call for more oil. People are crying for more oil. Are we crying for, for the Holy Spirit in our candles? IEA to hold emergency meeting to tackle soaring oil prices. Don't we know that we need also oil in this time? The Holy Spirit of grace in this time? We need to pray more in such a time uh, like this. Also in continuation, here we continue it says, uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. But on the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Genesis chapter 3 verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. 
So, when the Lord said that if you sin and do evil, you shall die, but the serpent comes in and says, no, you shall not surely die. But the Lord said, in the day you disobey, in the day you do this and that, you will surely die. But the devil says, no, you will not surely die. This is warring against God. This is what the devil said in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. He will lift himself beyond the longevity. He says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? This is the a star who is falling, the son of God, son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? Verse 14, I will ascend above the eyes of the crowds, of the crowds, I will be like the most high. So this fallen angel wanted to be like God. He wanted to create, to be a creator. He wanted to lead and that he be worshipped. So he sang beyond longevity. So the Lord has said you will surely die if you disobey. But he says, no, beyond longevity, you will not surely die. Now we are going to do what? We are going to ensure you will not die. Beyond Longevity is the title which you can find this article, the DIY guest to cheat death. To cheat death. People are crying to cheat death. They don't want to die and stop aging. They are looking for means to stop aging. Could you take your extended life into your own hands? So think people, they want self. They want to extend their own life, not to die. They want to look on means or not to die. All these men is evil imaginations. They are lifting themselves up beyond longevity. This is by N. Scott Plans, where there is a man who is known as uh, Ken Scott. Ken Scott uh, plans to live until he is 500 years. So this man wants to live until he is 500 years. But he has forgotten the earliest people lived even to 969 years. They lived so long than that. How can you get it? Live, be faithful unto the Lord, the God of heaven. Be faithful and follow his bidings. Then you will invest the heavenly uh, ways. You will uh, there on later or later on inherit that kingdom when the Lord Jesus Christ comes. Beyond longevity. says, at 79, this man Ken Scott, he is already outlived the CDC's official life expectancy by two years and he has no intention of dying. So CDC is saying it is 79, but the Lord Jesus Christ it says, said, even God, the God of heaven said it is 80 years. When it lives and increases such longer, it will be of much sorrow, but pain of much pain. The Lord has already spoken. The CDC is also setting their own life expectance to be what? Uh, that limit. But the Lord said it is 80. Let's see. He has already outlived the CDC's official life expectancy. So it's not for the CDC, it is the Lord God of heaven who has given this time for mercy's sake. And this time may be extended so that this man can uh, repent and follow the word of God so that he can inherit the kingdom which is to come. So by two years he has no intention of dying. So CDC's life is uh, 77 eh? or even slowing down. He wants to slow down aging anytime soon. An active man, Ken Scott, jets between his homes in upstate New York and Florida, flies to exotic locations such as Panama City for business, and still finds time for the odd cruise. His secret, a DIY regime of self-experimentation and untested therapies he believes will keep him going uh, well past the next century. So this man is using self experiment experimentation and the therapies and tested therapies so that he believes he will live beyond the longevity, beyond the period set out even in the scriptures. So you can see where the war is ascending to. Not to follow God, not to follow his bidings, no, they are following their own path. He says, Jeremiah chapter 46 verse 11, go up into Gilead and take Take palm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. As he is trying, is this the cure? We live long. Jesus Christ is the cure. He has bought us with a price. Self experimenters, self experimenters, litter the history of medical science. Dentist Ores Wells dosed himself with nitrous oxide in 1844 to see if it could cure pain. Nicholas Sen inflated his innards with hydrogen a few decades later to work out if it 
could di diagnose a uh, ruptured bowel and more recently so Paul Marshall drank a solution containing H uh, uh, Fiori in, in 1985 to prove the bacterium caused ulcers caused ulcers so all these scientists they are trying to see if they disapplied this one and they succeeded we can also try this one and we can live long is that possible these scientists risk their own health to make a medical breakthrough or a proof theory they want to break through they want to break at the record which the Lord has said or the God of heaven has said to prove a theory but Scott is not a scientist he is an amateur enthusiast so this man is trying or a river best he does not want to die does this man Scott really know how to live long does he know the faithful way which he can endure for the next uh, kingdom which is to come so it is by Jesus Christ friends so let him know that is by knowing Jesus Christ, by knowing the God of heaven, by drawing closer and closer to him. Let's see. Revelation chapter 18 verse 22. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. What is this light? What is this voice? It's the gospel message given by the bride, by the bridegroom waiting for the bride. This is the light of the world. For time margins were the great men of the earth. These great men of the earth, they want even to buy life, but they don't know how to find it. It is through Jesus Christ. For thy margins were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Sorcery is pharmacare. It is a use or administering of drugs. So, this is a deception on the last days. These scientists risk their own earth to make a medical breakthrough or prove a theory. But Scott is not a scientist. He is an amateur enthusiast also known as a bio -aka. so they want to hack our bodies they want to hack the program so bio hackers engage in DIY biology experimenting on themselves to enhance their brain and body they want to be like God to have an increased mind to have a, a, a long living body and many of them like Scott see longevity as the ultimate prize they are looking for ways to live forever do they know how now, longevity research is being transformed by mega cash injections by the likes of Peter Thierry and Jeff Bezos. In 2021, Bezos would fund a startup. So these people are using their, these great merchants of the great men of the earth, they are using their resources in such a way to live long. This is a deception. It's the last deception. And indeed you have seen what happened in the beginning. You shall not surely die. In the closing scenes of the artist's history, do you see it? Yes. They want to live long. It's the last great deception. All nations were deceived. Like Eve was deceived. Also the sons of men will be deceived in these last days. This is witchcrafty. Why is Elijah? Now long every research is being transformed by mega cash injections by the likes of Peter Thierry and Jeff Pezos. In 2021, we said that Pezos helped fund a startup called Arthos Labs. You know what this labs has brought? It has brought pestilence 19 in the land, which deals in rejuvenation science. What does rejuvenation mean? Juvenile means a child. So they want to be remain children. Do they know? Let them ask Naaman, how did Naaman do that he remained young? He submitted himself to the God of heaven. Then he remained young. Naaman, the Syrian uh, uh, captain, the Syrian captain, he submitted to the God of heaven and he was made young. Do they want to submit? They don't. They want to rejuvenation through science. This is witchcraft. Essentially, si true science obeys the God of heaven. Essentially, they are trying to science our way out of the aging process. They want to use science to stop them from aging, to stop them from dying. So, by Aka reason, this so known as by Aka reason, that is his legal and only name, uh, is known as by Aka reason, who runs the website known as fight, fightaging.org, there is universe that. Pezos and others success in their endeavors will come from their experiments uh, is, uh, he and Scott and other biohackers do now. So they are trying much possible to stop from aging, from dying, to rejuvenate themselves, to be young, to be children.
to be like children? How can they be? How can they manage this? It is by following the God of heaven who gives life. Let's see. Dr. Kerog, God has given you favor with the medical fraternity and I will have you hold that favor. But in no case are you to stand as do the physicians of the world to exert aerophaty, drugs, above every other practice and call all other methods, quackery and error. For from the beginning to the present time, the results of aerophaty have made a most objectionable of, 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 of such, uh, a most objecting, objecting showing. There has been loss of life in your sanitarium because drugs have been administered and, there, and this gives no chance for nature to do a work of restoration. So when drugs are, have been used, there have been the break of our machineries. You know the nature of the work of restoration was not capable of being done. Drug medication has broken up the power of the human machinery and the patients have died. You have seen it. Others have carried the drugs away with them, making less effective the simple remedies nature uses to restore the system. The students in your institution are not to be educated to regard drugs as a necessity. They are to be educated to leave drugs alone. This is from letter 67 April 8, 1889. This is two, like 200 years ago. Uh, 200 years ago. Is it 200 years ago or 100 years ago? Uh, it has, uh, time has erupted and gone very fast. So let's understand where we are in prophetic history. This, we know, times which we live are solemn times where we need to depend only upon the Lord. Do we want to live long? Depend upon Jesus Christ and He will give us that life which we desire when He comes the second time. When He comes the second time. So, friends, that is only how we can find immortality. It is only God who is immortal. We, we, have no, we cannot obtain it by our, our means. Also, Psalms 90 verse 10, the Bible says, The days of our years are three score years, and the ten, it is seventy years. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet it is yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. So it is of very hardship. They are seeing life extension for the masses. They are looking for life extension for masses, not to die. They want to be like God. How can they live long like angels? It's by obedience. The angels who keep the commandments. The Bible tells us that these angels they keep the commandments. Do we? So, what made Lucifer to fall down? Ezekiel 28 verse 17 Thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Because of his beauty, he saw it best that he repaired against God. These things look like beautiful. They, it seems like they are looking for a beautiful way to live long, but it brings destruction. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom. Thy wisdom. The wisdom God gave him, he corrupted it. So in wrong of wisdom, he is fo a foolish angel and with other angels. So by reason of thy brightness, I will cast thee to the ground. Casting all imagination which go against God, you will be cast down. I will let, lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. The devil, what he tried to do in heaven, of uh, doing away with the thirst, says the Lord, well, if you sin, you will surely die. He's saying you will not surely die. So you see the character being manifested before sons of men. They are repairing against the God of heaven. Let's see. Uh, Scotty's interest in longevity has grown over time. He first got involved in the 1980s after reading Life Extension. So they want to live longer. A practical scientific approach by Doug Pearson and Sandy Shaw, which preached healthy eating and rigorous exercise. But he really got serious in 202 when he was frustrated by continual sinus infections. In Genesis chapter 6 verse 12, and God looked upon the earth and behold it was corrupt. How? They corrupted their bodies. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. What were they doing? Mark chapter 2 verse 8, they were mixing animals, breed and animals and uh, people or such one. But you are departed out of the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. They disregarded the law of God. They did that which was against nature. So they changed the natural way of use of men or that, or use of women, 
even they went to beasts or animals of the field so you see where we are and you discard okay from uh, letter 23 December 14 1896 says and you disregard the and your disregard of earth reform is unfitting you to stand as the Lord's messenger in that gen sin meat eating and tea drinking and other forms of serve uh, pleasing is injurious to the earth of the body and the soul so this writer continues to say I remembered something my grandmother had told me when I was 10 to 12 years she told me you are what you eat I said to myself indeed it is true you are what you eat I need to stop eating this eating is poisoning me but don't you know that the taking of these uh, drugs you are poisoning yourself so it calls Scotty didn't eat for five days and by the fourth his sinuses were cleared he realized he had a gratin embryo and apparently never suffered from sinus issues again for test Scotty's experiments got gradually more extreme from adopting a vegan sugar-free processed food free diets to regular intermittent uh, fasting so experimenting don't you know that pestilence 19 experiments which have been done in the land what was their agenda it was of evil agendas we have seen it and this is what these men are saying no we need to do it again we need to continue doing these things which we saw them doing so let's do it that's what they are agitating it's our evil results let's see on another area he says sir from there Scottish experiments got gradually more extreme gradually what did you think of gradually through these experiments do you feel something like evolution gradually experimentation gradually more extreme from adopting a vegan sugar-free processed food free diet to regular ex uh, imitant fasting in the past two years he started taking and tested and regretted inventions like amniotic fluid injections where does he get this am amniotic fluid to take care young children to take care women how do they get it so over the same time period longevity and anti-aging research were picking pace and getting some serious uh, private cash flow giving hope to people like Scott who want to live radically longer lives Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 20 these people were looking for hope giving hope to people like Scott they have no hope so what did they do to Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 12 the Bible says and they said there is no hope so they are looking for hope to live longer but we will work after our own devices which they have imagined and we will and we will everyone do the imagination of this evil art so they are doing an universe they are turning things upside down to follow their own ways not the ways of the lord to live longer they don't want to die so they are fighting the thus says the lord the god of heaven living in sin that they can live longer so Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 12 and they said there is no hope but we will walk after our own vices and we will everyone do the imagination of his evil art 13 therefore thus says the lord ask ye now among the earthen who has had such things the virgin of israel has done a very horrible thing they want to live by their own word by their own thinking they want to recreate they want to reset they want to put themselves the old earthen world so the bible says ask ye now among the earthen the Athen will be are going to arise the people of the world who have never heard the scriptures are going to arise because the world is forcing them to take drugs and jabs and shots the whole Athen world will rise up in judgment against those Christians those whom heaven has favored the most like America but who have placed themselves on certain inside like 70 day Adventists and worked in these lines to bring their soul the string narcotics to foreign lands to pollute and to destroy the temple, the other nations with their defying and earth destroying drugs for the sake of a revenue. All these jobs and shots, this over revenue correction. A professor the Christian nation, America, even Seventh day Adventists, have forced their traffic upon the other nations like the papacy has been doing the matter of witchcraft. Jezebel, at the point of the sword, government, machinery the sword uh -huh. and thus compared them to accept their margin its business which were in using the great the people below the level of creation to zombies like these kind of things manuscript 49 may 
19, 18 and 7, CD, CDF 16 for 3, and Temperance page 213, and so much more. They are looking for hope. They don't find hope. They are reimagining for themselves in their own minds. And they are doing it all against the Lord, the God of heaven. Do they find hope? How can they find it? Psalms 73 verse 3 verse 17. They want to live longer? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 30. People peer and profess by their own means. Not by the word of God, but their own means and their own thoughts. Their own imaginations and evil thoughts. Psalms 73 verse 3 and verse 17. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. They do prosper, it looks like. But the Bible says, Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood I their end. There is an end of all this. This, uh, uh, this has happened before. No new thing under the sun. Bioaka reason describes a wave of enthusiasm for life extension which began in the 1970s. But those, but those in the world ended up building an industry delivering nothing except hope and fraud. They failed. This horrified the scientific community, he says, which took a step back from the old concepts of intervening in aging. So scientists, scientists are trying to be like gods, saviors. They say the medical saviors, pestilence 19 saviors. You can find it online. Acts 20 verse 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. This word will give you life and to give you an inheritance among all all them which are sanctified. If you are being sanctified by the word of God, you will live longer. It will build you up. But you don't live by the word of God, you will die. You will surely die as the Lord has said. Not this means which people are looking for. No. If you want to live longer, obey the word of the Lord. That says the Lord. That is the word which we need in this time. For man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God that proceeded out of uh, the mouth of God, the King of the Universe. So friends, follow the God of Heaven. Let's continue to say here. 1 Corinthians 15, 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last triumph, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall raise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Those who will be dead will be raised in corruptible and those who will be living they will be changing their bodies this is how we get in mortality not to die it took several decades of intense advocacy and a lot of philanthropic help and some advances in the science to change that so they want to change so reason says so the thing is they say these scientists they are more researchers interested in aging and longevity they want to be like god they will not, they don't want to die they want to live in sin, not to obey. That is sin, perhaps in part due to the fact the world population is aging. Clinical treatment for aging related problems are not keeping pace. That leaves people like Scott with a choice. That is A, that is DIY or die. They want these jobs. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. People live by their own means. Like the devil who hates the word of God. He hates the love of God. The thus says the Lord. The love of God. First Corinthians 3.20 And again the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. These are vain thoughts. So Scott now spends a large portion of his time researching and seeking out treatment that have not yet been approved for human use. And are great, at, at, at a great, co uh, great cost. Isaiah 29 verse 16 Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Do you know what the potter's clay is? It's remolding, which this potter will be destroyed. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Scott is saying, I don't, I know not God. He never created me. I will create myself. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Can we say that he the Lord God of heaven had no understanding. The news at core is known as universe. You are turning things upside down. You are saying God created me not. You are saying the Lord God of heaven had no understanding. He never created you. You are saying so. So they continue to say we are letting people die while we continue to 
tukiwa uh, tukiwa my server so they say you don't let people die we don't want to die they want to fight the thirst says the lord to live in sin friends to live in sin how can man live how can we live Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 6 the Lord God of heaven says O house of Israel cannot I do with you as this potter says the Lord of behold as the grace in the potter's hand so you are in my hand O house of Israel we are letting people die while we continue to cure mice of conditions so they say you can cure mice we can also cure people we can live longer we cannot die so Isaiah 29 verse 16 the Lord God of heaven says surely your turning of things upside down in universe shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made be not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? You are turning things upside down. This is devilish. This is the purpose's doctrines, who is advocating also the same point. This is darkness, friends. These last days, pharmacare. Hosea chapter 13 verse 9, O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thy help. It's only God who can give us immortality. Every three months, Scott injects himself with one cc of uh, ammoniotic uh, exosomes. Every three months, Scott injects himself with one cc of ammoniotic exosomes. Um, so he's controlling protein, DNA, and the RNA of the cells that excreted them in this case extracted from the fluid which surrounds and nourishes fetuses as they grow in the womb you also takes uh, dasatinib a drug approved to treat certain types of cancer believing it will help kill damaging uh, senescent cells in his body so the fda has not approved the ammoniotic exosomes as a treatment for anything and as dasatinib has not been given the green light for and aging purposes although it has been shown to work in mice when taken with quercetin a plant pigment so this man is fighting for immortality but does he know the proper way to live not this one this indeed you will surely die it is through jesus christ it's through the god of heaven that you can live forever it, when he comes we shall be changed but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die this is what we find in revelation 18 verse 23 that true pharmacare is a great deception what is scott fighting for immortality genesis chapter 3 verse 4 the serpent said unto the woman you shall not surely die but this is a deception in these last days pharmacare so in the future, Scott plans to travel outside the U.S. to undergo a uh, plas uh, plasmapheresis treatment. He describes as a cleansing of the blood and eventually gene therapy. Have you ever had therapy of cleansing the blood? This is what scientists are trying to do. But do they save? Many people have died through these things, friends. Even those who even their ages have not lived. And eventually gene therapy to reverse the aging in his body cells. To reverse plasmapheresis involves taking blood from a patient, removing the plasma, and then mixing the remaining blood with a plasma substitute. It is used as a cancer treatment, particularly in some forms of blood cancers. But Scott believes it also has regenerative potential for the elderly. Scott surely he wants to live. He says, I will not surely die. I will not surely die. Who is agitating him? Who is who is he following? He is following the devil. Who is deceiving him? They will not surely die. When the Lord says, you will surely die. If you don't obey me, you will surely die. Let's see. First Corinthians 6 verse 20. For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Remember, this is God's body, not your body which you are misusing. First Corinthians 7 verse 23. You are bought with a price. Be not yet the servants of men. The treatments are not cheap. Ammonitic fluid injections cost around 2,000 US dollars a pop. Clinics offering ammonitic fluid exosomes, exosome treatments are easily found with a quick 
Google Research. And Scott says their regulation falls into a gray area. This satinib is similarly difficult to obtain and costs hundreds of dollars. Scott gets his online. Scott gets his online and it is shipped in from abroad. Although he is the sure exactly where from in the world, he plans to undergo gene therapy could rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical bills. Scott wants to live longer. He's getting from elsewhere. Where does he get these amniotic fluids from? Do they kill children? Do they kill women? Do they, how do they get it? Where do they get it from? What are people fighting for? Aging, to live longer. Will they live longer? The Lord has said, uh, Job, take mortality, best less 19, we question ourselves if they are getting amniotic fluid and they say that the, even past 19 they use it those fetuses do you see the connection of these uh, medical men what we are talking about here is fast adopters and fast adopters always pay more he says predicting the cost of treatment will be lowered in some uh, some way computers or cars have become cheaper over time this is what we have heard that the people want to be made like machines. We have added, I've covered this before, you can find on our website, Adventist Angels Watching on Radio. Because you can see, these men, they don't want to die. They don't want to die. But do they know how? Have they followed the God of heaven? No. They are looking for their own ways to get immortality. This is what men of the world want to do with us. They are misusing us. They are doing research of our bodies, experimental uh, jobs. Like, uh, let's see. Jonathan Moreno, a professor of medical ethics and health policy at the University of Pennsylvania, who authored the book of Ev Everybody Wants to Go to Heaven, but Nobody Wants to Die, tells in verse he didn't see the point of this type of self experimentation. Everybody wants to go to heaven but nobody wants to die. Uh -huh. You see, which kind of heaven do they want to go? How do they want not to die? Which kind of heaven? They are promising evil in sin, friends. Let's see. Let's see also in continuation to that. You can see where we are in the prophetic history. We need to follow God, the God of heaven, who can give us immortality. Can give us immortality. Genesis 2 17 and 3 4 But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, therefore thou shalt surely die. And the Sabbath said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. The devil is staring Scott, you will not surely die. Disobey and you will live. But he added that he did believe serve experimenters like Scott who were doing anything wrong, even if they were wasting their money. They are lining the pockets of some fraudsters. And if you don't mind being exploited, that is the way it is. They have a new journey. They are looking for ways to live longer. Is this is the way? Friends, it is a deception. The other time deception. Find the Lord. Seek the Lord where he may be found, friends. Mr. Scott, find Jesus. First, first Corinthians 3.17 If any man defy the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Is this what they are doing to us? A journey of self-experimentation. Self-experimentation in us. They don't want God in their knowledge. In their knowledge. Even if they have known the Lord, they don't want Him. They want self-experimentation. Self, self, self. I will be like God. I will be like God. I will exalt myself. I, I, I. Not God. They don't want God in their pockets. pockets. This is what the purpose has done, who has got crafty to prosper in the land in Daniel chapter 8 verse 25. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 13, this work will be manifest, will be made manifest when fire will try every man's work. If it's of man, it will be destroyed by fire. If it's gold made pure by God, it will rust. Fire shall try every man's work. So the Lord says in these last days, if any man's work Abide which he has built thereon, he shall receive a reward. But if it be destroyed and be found it was mad made, it will be destroyed by fire. 15. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, 
and the Spirit of God dwells in you. If any man defied the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Scott, what are you doing? For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. So be wise, my dear friend Scott, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So your thoughts, it's vain, friends. It's evil imagination. And it is evil, it's evil, completely evil. So seek the Lord God of heaven, where he may be found. And uh, you will receive the kingdom to come. Psalms 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear God and keep his commandments. And you will inherit that kingdom. You will enter through the gates of the city. A good understanding of all they that do his commandments. is praise and joy forever. If you want to understand about life, fear God and keep his commandments. Follow the king of the universe, your creator. This Paris is one of the most well-known self-experimenters in the world. She traveled to Mexico in 2015 to undergo a gene therapy treatment. Her company made with the intent of slowing down aging. So you see many people are following this path. And the world is following this path. If you chapter 11 verse 5, by faith Enoch was, trans was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Do we please God? Do we know that the body is the temple of God? Would we go enter that heaven if we have defied our body? No. John chapter 8 verse 51, Verily, verily, I say unto you, If any man keep my saying, he shall never see death. When the Lord comes, we shall go to heaven. But if we do the universe, we shall be destroyed. We shall not ever enter that work, because every work will be tested by fire when Jesus Christ comes. Whose work it is, if it is the work of men, it will be destroyed. Psalms 94 verse 8 Understand you brutish among the people, O Scott, my brother, you fools, when will you be wise? He that planted the ear, the Lord who created us, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He sees the evil we are doing, verse 10. He that chastised the Aten, shall he not correct? He that teaches man knowledge, shall he not, shall not he know? So if you misuse this knowledge, then we will perish. The Lord knows the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. So, her trying out the treatment, this is an extreme form of medical tourism. When people travel to countries with more lax regulation in order to undergo treatment, not a very poor at home. So, parents believe this type of self-experimentation is becoming increasingly popular. It's like a kettle pouring over, she says. People are looking for new technologies. They are looking for the translation translation of the technology who was translated to heaven it was Enoch did he use technology no he used he obeyed the God of heaven but this one they're using another translation technology to live wrong they lived wrong because they followed the word of God the law of God they knew much they followed the law of God would you live wrong obey the law of God obey the law of God follow him Follow his path and you live longer and longer. Let's see. <coughs> Second Corinthians 3 18. But we all, with open face, beholding us in our grass, the growth of the Lord, are changed into the same image. If you follow the Lord, open your eyes, friends. You will be changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Live longer by following Jesus. The longevity self experimentation community is a day. Retro time, the weight, the weight lifters, and those guys are crazy. So if you want to live longer, uh, not by weight lifters, it's by obeying Jesus Christ. You will be changed from image to image or from glory to glory, and you will live longer. That is how the Lord God of Heaven has commanded us. So, Revelation 14 verse 7. Saying with a loud voice, Fear God, the one who was created. Give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgments come. And they worship Him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. So, the desire which this man has to live longer can only be found if we worship the one who made 
the one who created the sea, the founders, founders of waters, even glory. Worship him. Keep his commandments. Fear God means to keep his commandments. And when he comes the second time, then we will live longer. Scott, you will live longer if you obey the God of heaven. That is how you will get this immortality you are striving for. Strive to get it by obeying the commandments of God. The commandments of God. So that is the only means which we have and we have been given in this latter time of uh, the kingdom. This latter time of the kingdom. In continuation, uh, Acts 7 verse 50. Has not my hand made all these things? What are you trying to do, Scott? The Lord God of heaven has created you. Obey him and follow his bidding. We are letting people die while we continue to cure mice of conditions. It is at the point of absurd, Scott says. One million people would die this year from age-related diseases. They should be given access to technology that not only can help them but make a better world for everyone else. Is this what they have been advertising through movies and everywhere? Is this what they have tried through Pestilence 19? Now it is clear that they kill fetus or young children. They abort so that they can make people live longer. Has not my hand made all these things? Have you not seen what the Lord has done from the beginning? Men are becoming wiser than God. Are you becoming worse than God? This is foolishness. For the foolishness of men, uh, uh, for the wisdom of man is wickedness, friends. Let's see verses 30. Let's see on another area I'm about to wind up. Is that Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9. Those things which were in past are the same thing which shall be. There is no new thing under the sun. There is also the matter of cost. A study led by the London School of Economics found the average price of bringing a drug to market was 1.3 US billion US dollars. And research by Pio, a trade association for biotechnology companies, found it takes an, uh, on average 10.5 years for a drug in phase 1 of a clinical trial to attain regulatory approval. So the regulatory system are more burdensome and more cost costly than ever so how are companies going to get that data has to perish so people are studying to live longer and research and to buy drugs so much expensive while people are striving to live these people they have saved they are using billions of dollars to look for what diseases uh, uh, medicines and such like to live long but people are starving People are drying jobs here while people are starving of anger. Romans 7 verse 18 For I know that in me, that is my body, in my flesh, there is no good thing. So, these people are looking inside themselves. They say, look inside yourself. You will be like God. There is help in you. You will be stronger. No, this yoga thing, these evil things, it is evil. Isaiah 45 verse 22 Isaiah 45 verse 22, the Lord is calling to the nations, look unto me and you be saved. Look unto me and you be saved, all yet the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. Do not look in yourself inside you. There is nothing inside you. In your flesh there is no good thing. Look unto Jesus, the one who has created, the one who teaches you, the one who gives you wisdom when you are sleeping at night. Look unto your maker, the king of heaven and earth. He will give you wisdom. He will guide you. He will lead you. So friends, Psalms 56 verse 6, they gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Remember, this is David who was a marked man in his steps, who was warning his soul. They are marking us. They are making, giving us trackers. They are tracking us. They are marking us our steps. They are waiting for us who are opposing these evil things. Fortunately for biohackers, the tools to measure what's going on inside their bodies are cheaper and easier to access than ever. So inside the tracker, they are looking for a Boston based the air tracking company changes customers at uh, 59 US dollars for its ultimate tracking service. Tracking even, they want even trackers inside us. You see, they are clothing things with evil that you want to live wrong. Let's give a tracker inside you. You will die, friends. Which includes, includes blood test tracking for three biomakers and ten of us clients a full breakdown of how they can improve 
their earth so giving them trackers inside them this is what they have been doing and we know where it is heading to so lastly lastly but not least in these last episodes here people are looking for immortality friends fighting for immortality how can they find it? It is through Jesus. I sat in 3 verse 7 and it was told Saul that David was come to Kayla and Saul said, God has delivered him onto my hands. So are we not being surrounded those who will oppose this evil from Machia and witchcraft of Jezebel? Elijah, Elijah must run because Jezebel is angry for he is shut in by the entering into a town that has guests and pass. We are being surrounded in every side. We are being marked men. The longevity self-experimentation community is sadly retropeted and they with lifters and those guys are crazy, he says. Power raising is defi definitely needed. One thing I can guarantee you, I guarantee we are going to die. This is the reality. If you say you are trying to live longer, we are going to die because this experimentation it is dead trusting the lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding oh man for you to live longer let's see first corinthians 6 verse 19 what no ye not you, that your body is the temple of god of the holy ghost which is in you which you have of god and you are not your own when you are trying to destroy your body you are destroying the spirit of god you are inviting demons to your body Scott takes a parage of health tests every year to ascertain what is working and what is isn't. That body taking all of this, how he see it? But he is not as eager to make a wider scientific impact. He admits that although he does record the results of his various survey experiments, his data is not lab standard. I am very much concerned with doing this for myself, he admits. But he is putting himself at considerable risk. Judy Camby says, Professor of Biogenerotology at the Park Institute of Research on Aging, is concerned. So, he wants to live longer, but is this the way? He can only find it in Jesus, friends, in the path which the Lord God of Heaven has given us. When it comes the second time, then we will live longer. But this path he has taken, so evil results, he will surely die. Tell him, he will surely die. Just tell him that he will surely uh, die. He will not live long, but he will surely die. Oh Scott, find Jesus before it is too late. Second Kings chapter nine verse twenty two. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu, what he said, he said peace Jehu and answered, What peace? So long as the Hordoms, this Saho of Taimata, Jezebel and our witchcraft are so many drug medication and ministering this witchcraft idolatry. We are putting idols to your bodies, friends. But he is putting himself at considerable risk, Judy Camby says, Professor of Genotology at the Park Institute of Research on Aging, is concerned by some of the measures taken by people who want to live longer. She says with many drugs and interventions intended to slow down aging, one issue which is always overlooked is the potential stimulation of cancers. How do you live longer? How did they live longer before the floods? What were they eating? Dead, friends. Kansas Cambys is also worried about anyone taking amniotic fruits as Scotty does. I think that people who are not trained in science are not necessarily trained. So, you see the fight for drugs. This is a whore. This is witchcraft. A whore. There is a woman known as Jezebel who is also an, uh, an arrow, friends. An art deceiving nations that they can receive immortality. How? through this no friends these people have been teaching evolution psalms 193 verse 73 i uh, says thy hands have made me and fashioned me give me understanding that i may learn the commandments so let scott know that the lord god of heaven has fashioned us he should give us understanding how we can live wrong it's by obedience that we may learn to keep his commandments and live wrong that is the way the god of heaven has given so, evolution has set species, species specific response probably by taking hundreds, if not thousands of genes, and it's not going to be a single intervention that will be able to do what evolution could do, she says. One thing I can guarantee you, Scott, I guarantee you, you are going to die. So, friends, it's only through Jesus that we can find immortality, that we can live longer. So, trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
lean not in thy own understanding. Last but not least, and I appreciate you because you have taken your time to join Adventist Angels Watch on a radio live international, is that be blessed and have this peace which comes from our Lord Jesus Christ. How can we live longer? Obey the God of heaven. Obey the God of heaven and indeed you will live longer. For we are told in the spirit of Proverbs, these people, Easterns, while appearing to the children of men as a great physician who can heal all their maladies, he will bring disease and disaster until popular cities are reduced to ruin and desolation. GC 589 paragraph 3. True spiritualism that is looking inside you. Saturn appears as a benefactor of the race, healing the diseases of the people and professing to prevent a new and a more exalted system of religious faith. But at the same time, he works as a destroyer. GC 589, paragraph 1. So friends, for you to live longer, obey God. Not the ways which the prophecy and the, the great men of the earth have taught you. For this, you will surely die, friends. Follow the God of heaven. Go and oppose and see the path people followed. And this is our evil results. You will surely die, friends. So, follow the God of heaven who only can give us immortality. Those who have followed this path cannot be leaders of the flock in these last days. These people have followed intellect and science. They will surely die, friends. They will surely die. Pope says President's 19 pandemic could be Niger's response to climate change. So climate, so what is the solution to the climate? <laughs> this pandemic, what is the solution? Uh-huh. So they want to live longer. They want to protect the earth. They don't believe that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. So what are they teaching the people? Okay, it is our evil results. Remember, he is the chaplain of the UN dating all issues of life. Uh, of life. And you know what they live in the dark ages? Things are taking a new shape. Are taking a new shape. He is the agent who is above standing for pharma care. He has say administer it. He has comparing people to take it and time passed. So I don't have time today for us to consider much things. But I appreciate you as the world is following the purpose in every facet for Jesus who is can give us immortality. Not the Pope who is in charge of pharmacare, who has been forcing people to take pharmacare in their own nations. Uh, as they are uniting to take pharmacare or to fight it, they are fighting to receive immortality. After they found it, many people have died as a result. So friends, trust in the Lord your God. Be not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge is mighty. Acknowledge the one who has created. Note these people are trying to reserve, to reset the world so called. That they want to redo or to have new things. That to live longer. How can they live longer? By trusting the Lord who only can give immortality. The only immortal God. So thank you for your time. Thank you for this far. And may God bless you so much. May God bless you more abundantly, even as we humble ourselves as we pray. Father in heaven, the King of the universe, thank you because you have spoken and thank you because you have guided us this far. Bless us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh Lord, only through you can find immortality. Help your people to find hope in these last days and to trust in you who was created. In this hour, I give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Hello friends, thank you so much for taking your time. Thank you so much for being with Adventist Angels watching our radio. I appreciate you for your time. And God bless you more sincerely for this far which you have come together. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, wherever you shall be. God bless, share and have peace. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon. Be blessed. Stay tuned. Goodbye.